one more to go for the Arrow McLaren SP driver. You can have all the overtake you need. You can have all like the overtake you need. good on fuel, and what a result this is for this team. It was a rocky start, but they gathered it up, and today they've executed perfectly. And execution has been the problem. Problems on pit lane, problems with setup. No issues today. They weren't the fastest car starting up front, but over the course of the race, he's made all the right moves, as has his team, James. I spoke to his engineer, Will Anderson, earlier this weekend, and I said, hey, Will, give me your report card grade so far for the first three races. He said, B, maybe a B minus. We've had some pace, but we haven't had the execution, like you just said, Townsend. So that was the key here this weekend. They knew they had a good car being a pole sitter last year. It was about executing on a race day, and they have all done their part. Wait a second. There's a little lap traffic here for Pato Award. He's going to catch him, I think, into the final couple corners, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And he's going to win for the third time on a third different circuit. Texas Motor Speedway last year, followed by the Detroit Street Course race, but now on a permanent road course. Pato Award, who had a frustrating start to the year here at Barber Motorsports Park. He's going to win again, but for the first time here, Pato Award! Take a flag, baby. The nice drive. Back. Excellent, excellent job. Well he deserved. wins at Barber Motorsports Park to keep Chevrolet's oh, amazing oh, run going. Oh. Will Anderson on the right, Taylor Kyle, the strategist. Very, very happy crew, guys. The number five McLaren team executed perfectly today, as did this man right here. Brilliant, brilliant drive. Mr. Fast Hands, the ninja strikes at Barber Motorsports Park in a very calm and measured way to get that win for Aaron McLaren SP over Chip Ganassi Racing's Alex Pillow and Ed Carpenter Racing's Renus VK, who led the most laps in this race. Taylor Kyle, the president of the team, delighted with his young charge.